Greetings YouTube. This is Fragments of Memory once again. And lately I've been checking out this indigo black situation or this black indigo situation. I'm not sure what her name is. But apparently she's a woman on YouTube and she is this very Afrocentric conscious type of a sister. And she was implicated in a pornographic website touching the crotch of a white man. Now, here's how I see the situation. Granted, she is someone that is that has presented herself as a conscious person. She has been made she has made herself public to be conscious and spiritual and so on and so forth. And unfortunately, she was caught in this situation. And according to her, I saw her response video to all of this. She was someone in need of money and her financial situation wasn't ideal and she needed money to try to eke out some type of a living to at least get her car fixed so she can find a, a decent job. Now, granted, I do think that there is a contradiction in the message. However, I'm going to have to agree with Mr. For Lost Souls Only on this one. Mr. For Lost Souls Only just pointed out that she's in the public eye and she's done this, but people in, in their own private lives have done illicit and sexual things. And I don't want to get graphic, <laughs> as the good brother um, for Lost Souls only got a little graphic there. But he, through his graphic talk, he has made a very valid point that many have been involved in many sexual uh, sexual trysts and erotic deviancies and sexual deviancies and so on and so forth. And some of them have been, quote unquote, saved, sanctified, conscious, following the deen of Islam. You know, so this isn't limited to just the conscious. I've heard of people that were saved that went to strip clubs. I've, I've heard of people that were sanctified that did these things. I've even heard of people that were that were following the dean of Islam that were implicated in things like a strip club or something of, to that effect. So I would say that when people are attacking black, indigo or indigo black, when they're attacking her, they must realize that they set themselves up to to be attacked. Now, I'm not defending her actions, nor do I give my my stamp of approval on it. But I'm saying if we really are going to be sincere about the criticisms of illicit things and people preaching one thing and doing another, then at some point we we all have been guilty of some form of hypocrisy. I may say, "Ooh, it's wrong that that you stare at that woman, you know, with her bosom hanging out of her her low cut shirt." But then I turn around and every five seconds you see me, I'm ogling some woman whose bosom is falling out of her shirt. Or I say pornography is this horrible thing. But then I turn around and you you look at you come you follow me home or you look at my internet history, and I've got volumes upon volumes of pornographic and X-rated materials. So I think we should really be careful in how we look at her. Yes. On one hand, she did set herself up to get criticized. She set herself up for scrutiny. When you are in the public eye, you do have a responsibility as to how you are handling yourself. However, on the same token, the same people that criticize the critics often are guilty of those crimes themselves. Just like I use the example, a, a woman was practicing many things that were sexual, but she had not had straight intercourse. So she assumed she was a virgin, even though she had done other things. And she still claimed to be a virgin, so I know how this goes. I do wanna I do wanna at least say that she's just someone that, that, that was in a bad situation and didn't make the best choice for herself at the time. And I understand that. None of us, if we really took a good, hard and long look at our lives could say we any of us are above scrutiny, whether you're Christian, Jewish, Muslim, conscious, or whatever. If you believe in a judgment day, you're going to believe that the Creator is going to look at everything you do and that he has a record of everything you've done, said, thought about, or whatever. And could I really say my thoughts, my, my actions were the purest of the pure of the pure of the pure? Most likely, not always. There are situations where I, too, have have said things, I've cursed people out, you know, I've said horrible things to people, I've looked at women with lustful eyes at times, I've, I've gossiped about people, I've done horrible things in my life. 
Now, some people may have con may consider me a lightweight as far as that's concerned, but if you hold yourself up to the the best and the ultimate scrutiny, then which is the word of of God, then it'll tell you you ain't correct yet, my friend, and you need to purify yourself. You need to get purified. So this is just a sister who who made some made some not so best choices for herself and her image. And I, for one, am not going to, I don't appreciate her being castigated like this, because if we really took a good hard long look at ourselves, we too would be guilty. This is sort of like when Tiger Woods had the affair, everyone was so up in arms about it, but people have affairs every day. This doesn't justify the practice of affairs, but it does say, hey, look, I can say you are wrong. However, I can't sit up here and act like I'm not. So if I say you're wrong, I got to say I'm wrong, too. And a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people like to point out the evils of others, but they don't point out the evils of themselves. So I'm one that says, please go ahead, you know, make your make your videos if you feel that you must, but realize that one day that is that those same eyes that you're looking at those that same scrutiny that she's under you're going to be under too so i agree yeah she shouldn't have put herself out there like that when she's got this other image but at the same time let's not let's not try to burn this woman so that's really my piece on it so thank you very much youtube and peace